Hello and welcome to the channel. So before I go on, I just want to quickly say, please do hit that subscribe button if you're interested in design, usability and workflow. So exploring how we can set up products and use them and looking at how they solve various problems through productivity as well as day-to-day -day lifestyle things too. So all kinds of interesting stuff I'm going to cover on here. Uh, so it'd be great to have you along for the ride. So with this Moonlander keyboard, suddenly we're presented with this, all these arrangements and different kind of ways we can configure this. You know, you can adjust the distance between the halves, you can adjust the tenting to some extent with the feet, and of course you can adjust the thumb cluster, and of course you can adjust the sort of rotation of each half as well in relation to your arms. So I've had a bit of a play with all of this, I've done some other videos on these ideas as well. Um, but recently what I've done is I've put both halves up on this beanbag, and um, the beanbag is actually a, a thing that they sell for iPad as an iPad stand, and I actually use that for that purpose as well. And we've got quite a few of these around the house and I'll link to that on Amazon because they're super, they're absolutely brilliant. I mean, they're, they're, for iPads, they're great, but to use it in this way as well, that's really cool. So I can actually sit on the sofa with the Moonlander in this arrangement on my lap and the iPad on another one of these bean bags to my side. And that's actually a really comfortable way of doing a bit of coding just with my feet up on the sofa. So that's a nice thing to do in its own right. So one of the main criticisms with the Moonlander is that the thumb cluster can only be in its downward position if you want the keyboard tented. And that's a, that's a slight inconvenience because it means that the first of the thumb cluster keys, which is a really common key that you'd want access to, it's actually quite a stretch away. And that problem is completely solved by putting them up on this beanbag here because you can bring the thumb clusters back up. And I think even if you've got massive hands, the, the fact that bringing the thumb cluster up just brings that key even closer. You know, the, the closer the thumb keys are to your, to your home thumb position, the better, really. I don't see any reason why you'd, you'd want them further away, uh, even if you had really big hands. I don't know, maybe there is an optimum, but the point is with this setup, you can play with where you want the thumb cluster irrespective of the tenting. Um, and it's a, it's a great way of just getting a nice, comfortable tenting experience with the Moonlander. And the brilliant thing about the beanbag is it's, it's so flexible in, you know, in its nature. You can actually adjust the angle of the halves, you can adjust the in uh, sort of out angle. And that's a really interesting one. When I first sort of set this up, I wasn't quite happy with it. I wasn't quite sure why. It's because I had them sort of too parallel. And in fact, doing that just made them much more in line with my, my forearms and the lower keys were closer to my hand and that made it much more comfortable. So it's quite fun seeing the Moonlander in this position on the beanbag. It really looks like a butterfly, especially if you, you bend the legs up. So uh, you get this kind of moon butterfly idea uh, taking shape on your desk, which is, which is great fun. And again, I think the amount of tenting that you'd want is a bit of preference, but you know, for me, this sort of not quite vertical uh, arrangement with my wrist seems to be about as neutral as I could hope for with my rotation in my forearm there. And actually, after you've done this for a few days and go back to putting your hands flat on the table, you think, you know, how on earth have we done this for our whole lives, having our, our forearms twisted constantly? Because it's definitely not a neutral position to have your hands flat out in front of you. It requires this sort of constant uh, effort to do that. But having them up in this neutral kind of tenting and you just sort of comfortably tapping away in, in conjunction with my 36 key layout where you know I'm not stretching in any direction I'm barely moving my fingers away from their home orientation so it's sort of this incredibly neutral incredibly effortless experience um, and I'm actually what I'm doing now is working on a way of making sure that I'm never having to hold down keys to access different layers because I think that's one of the big issues with customizable keyboards is we end up using these layers all the time uh, which means we're holding down the layer modifiers and that's not a good thing. I actually, this muscle in here uh, started to get quite sort of sore last week and I put it down to the fact that I was trying to avoid using the trackpad all the time by using the mouse mode on the keyboard and my mouse mode is actually holding down both of my layer keys at the same time with the thumb while I use the keys to do that and that was resolved in quite a bit of fatigue. Uh, so I've gone away from that idea now and developed a kind of permanent layer switch. So I go into mouse mode and I don't need to be holding anything down on my thumbs. And uh, I'll be doing another video on that uh, in much more detail soon. So do make sure you've, you've subscribed and hit the bell notification icon as well to make sure you don't miss that new video. And I'll look forward to seeing you in that one. Now, as always, I'd love to hear your feedback on anything I've said in this video and suggestions for future videos too. I'm very happy to explore all these kind of keyboard ideas because I think the way we interact with computers is so important. And we've kind of been brainwashed a bit by all the products we buy, you know, Apple's sort of relentless design and style approach, you know, forcing us to use their kind of keyboard idea, which is just so limiting. Ultimately, you're stuck with QWERTY, you're stuck with the stagger, you've got no split, you've got no customization at all, you've got ridiculous uh, modifier combos, which are, which are a joke.
the customizable keyboard route is a really interesting thing. And I think anybody with any interest in computing or, or is working with a computer should definitely explore these, these kinds of keyboards because it, it can take your productivity to the next level. So we'll be exploring all that stuff on this channel. So hitting the subscribe button is definitely a great idea. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.